I have to mention this artist, Tapio Virkala. Um, his work is described as a dialogue between hands, eyes, and materials. So I was wondering, so what sort of dialogue then can we have um, if I introduce 3D scanning and 3D printing in this ceramic uh, slip casting process? And if I may explain slip casting process, I made a form of a vase out of textile. Anyway, I wanted to uh, test the texture uh, of textile, so I collected them and then stitched them together to create a three-dimensional uh, actual vase and hand-stitched them. And then I took it to the 3D scanner, and then you click a button, print. <laughs> so it, it's 3D printed. And when it's 3D printed, that's the pattern, what, you, what we call pattern, to make a mold. And then you make a mold out of plaster. Now the pattern is gone, and uh, you pour this liquid porcelain in, uh, slip, and the plaster observes the water out of that liquid, leaving only the solid wall. And then what's coming out of that plaster mold is the ceramic. I guess in my case, my interest is not necessarily focused on digital manufacturing, but rather it is about relationship between hands and technology. If I may borrow uh, David Pye's idea about workmanship of risk and workmanship of certainty, Workmanship of risk is about the work done by hands, and therefore it's not precise. It's always, uh, there is a, a certain degree of variance. Workmanship of certainty, on the other hand, is about the mass manufacturing, industrial manufacturing. Therefore, it's about control, it's about precision. And I think what's interesting is about these two relationships. The essence will be there no matter what technology you use, but I guess dialogue between the hands and the technology will change. If you think about industrial revolution, the craft uh, and the craftsmanship had to really adapt and uh, reborn to adapt to that new system. And now we're talking about digital manufacturing process. So it's again opened up a new different door. So the craft and craftsmanship will evolve. And then the next revolution would be the biotechnology. And so then the dialogue between the hands and the material, this living material, again, will change quite drastically.